So today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial about how to make some basic levels for the Blender game engine. Uh, interior type levels. In this case we're going to be making something that looks a bit like a prism uh, for my game. We're going to be using a technique called texture atlases which means that you use one kind of big texture and you use that to get all of the textures you need for your level. Okay, so first of all I'm going to show you an example of a tex uh, texture atlas. This isn't from my game, this is just something I found on the internet. As you can see in his case, or many of the textures from a game are put together onto one sheet. And this makes it much easier for uh, a developer to work from. Uh, the problem here is they've obviously made the textures first and then assembled them into a texture sheet. Now you can see the problem is that there's lots of um, empty space. Now today we're going to be using a, a, something that I've already made myself. Let's bring that up. Here we go. This is what we're going to be using. Mm, you can see that uh, it's all just big squares. There's no empty space. There's no parts missing. Uh, it takes a lot to plan out something like this. And once you start making it, you've got to stick with what you've made. So uh, it takes experience and a bit of testing to see if it can get it work right. Anyway, this is what we're going to be using. We're still going to be using this, which is the brick texture. Here, this is the concrete texture. And there's some other parts, um, some basic details. Here you can see a, a light and some grills and things like that. And up here, these parts are used for doors and ledges and things like that. Right, we're going to be starting by looking at some assets that I've already made for my project. Let's go straight into there. And these are the kind of things that you need to start building uh, a level. What you need are um, rooms, basic rooms like this, and um, cross sections where things join together. That can be quite comple complex. You need to build those now. Uh, corridors and doors. Once we get the doors working, um, once they're all scripted and everything, they'll open and shut automatically or with, with a button. Later on I'll show how using groups and uh, instances you can put together a whole level with working doors and all that kind of thing. And we'll do that in another tutorial. This one's just about texturing. We're going to be using the basic texture face materials in Blender. They um, work pretty well for most computers and they can be affected by lights. At the moment it's not affected by this light because we haven't switched on its, its ability to be affected by light. So if you go into this tab down the bottom here, it says multi-res, UV calculations, texture face, we switch on the light button here and press copy to copy that to all of the faces. Now the faces are affected by the lights and in the game engine too. The problem is this one light will light your whole level there's no drop-off. You can use a spotlight above your scene. If we switch this to a spot, it just uh, just lights up those things underneath it strongly. But you can only have about eight lights per level, so you have to plan that very carefully. Now you can see on here that all of these faces are um, just one-sided. We can only see the inside of this. Uh, that doesn't matter. Once you're in the game, we zoom in into one of these levels and press play. It, it looks fine. Um, this is just one single 512 by 512 texture, a couple of hundred polys. Um, you can see what we can do with a you know a very small kind of uh, amount of resources. I'm not going to show you how to model a uh, basic hallway. I'm assuming that probably you can understand um, some of the basics of Blender. If you can't, there's lots of tutorials around. Anyway, here's a basic hallway that we're going to be working with, part of a hallway. There's a door and a couple of windows. And there's some other things we're going to add to this. Right now, there's no textures. We're going to select everything and press U, unwrap. 
now we can see it's got textures but the textures are on the wrong side so we select everything again go to mesh menu go to normals and recalculate inside now the textures are on the inside but they're still messed up in this case what we want to do is um, start to select some of these faces and if you're directly above if you project from view if you press U to get the UV projection and project from view it comes here on your on your texture faces now you can scale these and you can um, change the sizes you can just swing edges around so that it doubles up and the result is that you get a textured face now, we're going to go through and, and do this part by part I'll show you a more complex part here the, uh, the, the edge of the doorway if we mark a seam and then just select the doorway. When we press U and unwrap, it'll unwrap it as a as a strip, and then we can use that to find an area that we're going to use for door edges. Uh, maybe something like this. Shrink it down to the right size, and then you have your um, your edge of your door. This is quite a large area though and it has a very low um, a small texture on that that can get uh, a bad effect so we're going to make that a little bit bigger or just get another area there we go looks fine all right so go through all of your hallway and then it's just more of the same just select the faces and unwrap them now when you're finished you might have something that looks a little bit like this we go inside um, and you can see them. what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make some glass and some other things mm, uh, so I've left a window here and we're going to put in some doors so we've already sculpted the doors and other parts so if we select those and then um, select both message meshes and press ctrl J we'll join them together you can see the newly added meshes don't have a texture so if we select all of the faces again and in the texture window here if you go on to the uh, this drop up menu and select your faces your texture now they're textured but of course um, we have to unwrap these again it's the same deal just unwrapping and uh, making sure things are the right size mm, here I'll show you how to do a, a door just continue as you've already done unwrapping you can select two opposite faces and then when you go to a side view uh, we've selected the back and the front when we press U and unwrap project from view both the faces are here just uh, in the same position this is very quick if you want to uh, texture something a lot of faces at the same time again you can scale and stretch these into the right shape Make sure they line up okay. Okay, there's our door, our pillar, and we can just put them into the building. Well, then we've nearly finished. Um, we've got our simple uh, corridor here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add some add some glass in the middle here. Uh, the glass is going to use a different texture it's going to be very um, low res uh, but I'll show you how to do that as well so we've got a plane here already um, this plane is separate from the other mesh 
you can see it's got the, the texture on here. We don't want to use this though. If you want to stop using a texture, uh, press the X and it gives you a blank. And now we want to add a new texture to this. We're going to add uh, our glass texture. This texture is um, it's a DDS file which has a, um, an alpha channel. So it means it's partially transparent. That's great, it's uh, transparent in some ways, but we need to make it really work as glass. So in UVs, in this uh, box, go into the UV menu, uh, no, the image menu, go up to real-time texture mapping. You've got two options, UV coordinates or reflection. Switch to reflection. Now, this glass is switched to work like glass. It'll reflect that image. But, oh, look, it's only one-sided, and it's not transparent. So we need to select it again, go into Texture Face Materials, and select Two-Sided and Alpha. And if we copy again, now this face is, uh, is double-sided, should be. And when we get in the game engine, when it's actually running, you'll see that working properly. So we go in here, and then we press Play. And there we go, you've got a, a plane of glass. Um, as you move around, that'll look like uh, real glass. Okay, you can, uh, there's some other things you can do. You could select that, and instead of using the glass, you can use um, a wire grill texture. Again, set to transparent, but in that case, we could probably use clip alpha, as it's faster. And then when we start the game, there you go, you've got a, a transparent grill that you can look through. All right. And don't forget, select your level and turn on the lighting for it. Alright, there we go. That's how to use um, Atlas textures. Uh, one last trick I want to show is how we can add some, some lights in the game. Um, obviously some textures you want them not to be affected by your main light. You want them to glow, like a TV screen or a, a ceiling light or something like that. Um, in this case, if you just uh, select the face that you want to glow, go into texture phases and turn off light for that one face. And now when you press play, that face will not be affected by the light. No matter how far away the light is or how dark your level, that will still be 100% brightness can be useful for TVs or lights or whatever. Okay, so next time I'm going to show how to uh, make working doors and uh, things like that, and how to put together a level. But that'll be in uh, a little while in the future.